And the tomb broke open. Matthew chapter 27 verse 52, my God. He said the tomb broke open. Dear child of God, everything of yours that may have been buried, every blessing, every gift, everything that is supposed to make your life beautiful and good, that may have been kept in the secret and became unreachable to you, Jesus had broken it and today they will be yours. All your blessings that may have been buried all of these years. Because Jesus rose in victory, because the tomb broke open, wherever those things have been kept, it shall break open and you will receive all that is yours. He said the bodies of many holy people who had died were raised to life. My God, the things that were dead, the things that were buried, the word of God said that when Jesus rose, every single one, everything that was buried came back. I want you to know that it doesn't matter how long your blessings, your prosperity, your favor, your honor, your prestige, everything that would have made your life good. It doesn't matter how long they have been buried. It doesn't matter how long they have been kept far from you today, wherever it has been kept it shall break open and everything will return back unto you. He said the tomb broke open and the bodies of many saints who had fallen asleep were raised. I want you to know whatever it is that is yours that may have fallen, today it shall rise. As your finances crashed, as your blessings fallen, today it shall rise in the mighty name of Jesus. Has your marriage fallen? Has your marriage broken? Have you had a relationship that had broken? Today it shall rise again because the Lord Jesus rose in the mighty name of Jesus. He said in Isaiah chapter 13 verse 14, I will ransom them from the power of the grave. My God, Jesus himself paid the ransom for everything of yours that may have been hidden. He said, I will ransom each and every one of them from the power of the grave. He was the one that looked at death and said, where is your victory? He looked at the grave and told it he had power over it already. And he said to you today that he had ransomed everything that was hidden. That is why I want you to know today, whatever is supposed to make your life good, that may have been buried all of these years, today, it shall come out just like he brought people out of captivity and he gave them gifts my god every of your gifts will be given back unto you he said i would ransom them from the power of the grave i will redeem them my god dear child of god there will be a redemption a supernatural redemption everything of yours will be redeemed everything that the devil has stolen from you shall be redeemed he said i will redeem them from death as the people against you concluded that your life will be put to an end today the lord will redeem you have you been battling with an ailment with a sickness that is already bound to take your life today the lord will redeem you and you shall be set free in the mighty name of jesus he said oh death I will be their plagues, my God. He said, I will be the plagues of death. I will be the plagues of destruction. The things that have destroyed you, the Lord will plague it today in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will ensure that the things that were supposed to take your peace of mind away, the Lord will deal with each and every one of them. He said, oh grave, I will be thy destruction. The Lord will destroy everything that was to destroy you and repentance shall be eat from the eyes of these things he wants to destroy because he had made up his mind to put an end to everything that had afflicted you he had made up his mind to put an end to everything that had frustrated you he said i will ransom them from the power of the grave i will ransom them dear child of god today your marriage will experience that ransom in the name of jesus because the lord will restore everything he will redeem everything that is yours he said yes everything that has been stolen that has been eaten up he said he will restore the lord will restore your joy today in the mighty name of jesus yes those things that have made you to cry night and day asking the lord when will this thing change the lord will restore it and you will see a change an immediate change 
in the mighty name of Jesus because he had settled it. He said in Ephesians 4 verse 9, Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? You know what he went to do in the lower part of the earth? He went to break the chains that are tied your blessing. He said he went to the lower parts of the earth. There he got the key of death and he had victory over death. Dear child of God, the Lord has taken that key to wherever your blessings have been locked up and it will go there and open it to you and you will receive your blessings. It will be pouring forth like a fountain. It will come out and you will have a reason to rejoice. He says, now he who had ascended, first descended, dear child of God, he did not go down because they killed him. He went down because he wanted to bring something out for you that will cause you to rejoice all the days of your life. And then when he arose, he arose in victory. Dear child of God, you will have a continuous victory in the mighty name of Jesus. And he said he spoiled principalities and power. That is, he took everything they are taking from you. Dear child of God, every looters, everyone that has spoiled your blessings, the Lord God himself is spoiling each and every one of them. So what was originally yours, I returned back unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. He had spoiled your spoilers. So every single thing that was stolen from you from yesteryears, you will start receiving them in the name of Jesus. Those contracts that you did not receive because some people stood in the way, they will call you and they will give you that contract in the name of Jesus. That job that you are taking your mind off from, that is never yours. They will call you and plead with you with a salary increase in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to know, dear child of God, that the Lord Jesus has poured every of your spoiler so that you would have the victory. Then he said to you that you should cheer up because he had overcome the wicked one. I want you to know, dear child of God, that the wicked one today has been overcome and today has been messed up by God in the mighty name of Jesus. So you should have every reason to rejoice because when he ascended up on high, he said he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. You shall be receiving that gift. Have you prayed for a fruit of the womb? You shall receive that gift. Have you prayed for a settlement in your life? You shall receive it as a gift. Have you prayed for a choice test of husband? You shall receive it as a gift. Have you prayed for that wife that you will call your own? You shall receive that person as a gift today. Whatever it is you have prayed for, he said, he led captivity captive and gave gift unto men. Expect your gift. Expect your gift of open doors. Expect your gift of blessings. Expect your gift of favor. Expect your gift of supernatural turnaround. Expect your crown to come upon your head because the Lord has settled it. He had changed everything and he will see to it that you rejoice in victory in Jesus' mighty name. And coming out of the tombs, after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. The people that were long dead came out and they were appearing to their loved ones. Those people that you have forgotten about, that you thought they would never return to you, they will return to you. It could have been a dead relationship. You may have concluded that yes, nothing can come out from this relationship anymore, just like Jesus did it. And those who had been certified dead came back and appeared to their loved ones and appeared to the people that matters to them. Dear child of God, it shall be so for you in the name of Jesus. People will come back to you and ask for your forgiveness. People will come back to you and plead that you should have mercy because what they did, they did not realize when they were doing it. Because the Lord Jesus is raising back and bringing back alive everything that was dead. It's alright if it seems as if you had lost trust on that man or woman. The Lord will bring a transformation that when you see what he has done, you will say thank you for the victory Lord because you heard my prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. And the tombs broke open. The bodies of many holy people who had died were raised to life. Yes, everything of yours that was supposed to bring you holy benefit that may have gone far away from you. Today, they are returned, they are restored, and they will be placed in your hands because the Lord God 
settled it himself through Jesus Christ. So cheer up dear child of God because you will receive that ransom today. Cheer up dear child of God because you are getting that redemption today. Cheer up dear child of God because the Lord God through Jesus is plaguing everything that wanted to plague you and is destroying everything that wanted to destroy you in the mighty name of Jesus. And there will be no room for repentance for everything that God has concluded upon. He had said today their matters will be put to an end and so it shall be in the mighty name of Jesus so that you would have victory in the mighty name of Jesus. It is done. It is settled and you are victorious in Jesus name. Amen. Congratulations because you will reign in life and destiny in Jesus name. Amen. It is well with you beloved. God bless you and shalom.